Hi everyone, very happy to meet you all in our channel Biopedia. This is Dr. Saranya. I am talking to you on our membrane permeability. Right, so what is a membrane? Membrane is nothing but it is going to serve as a gatekeeper. Okay, so who will the gatekeeper allow? So who are all relevant to that place, he will be allowing. For instance, if you see the gatekeeper in your college, he will just check out whether you are studying in that college, isn't it? So then only he will allow you inside. So likewise, your membrane, they allow only certain molecules to pass through. And this is one of a very important question for your examination. Right. So, what is the nature of your membrane? Your membrane, it is going to be, right? So, your outside of the membrane, it is going to be hydrophilic, right? And this inside, it is going to be hydrophobic, alright? Fine. So, that is why, if it is going to be a hydrophobic molecule, right? For example, you take the gases. Right, your oxygen, CO2, nitrogen, all of them, they pass through the membrane easily. Okay, so let it be your benzene. Now, all these hydrophobic molecules, they can cross through the membrane easily because, you know, it is a like molecule, right? So, they all hate water, right? So, these are all hydrophobic. So, it is going to make all these gases to very easily cross through the membrane. Right. What about water? Water, yes, partially it can pass through but you have a channel or you have a thing called as your aquaporin. Why? Your water is slightly charged. So, if it is going to be a charged moiety, then this hydrophobic layer is not going to allow them. Yes, so this is water is going to be hydrophilic and your membrane is going to be hydrophobic. So, they cannot go inside. Right, likewise your glycerol, urea, all these are very very small molecules. But since because they are polar, they cannot pass through so easily. Alright, what about your large uncharged molecules? See, their permeability is very less. You can make it out. So, they require your transporters. This is where your glute is coming to play a role. So, they serve as a transporter for your glucose. Right. Likewise, ions. See, they are not at all permeable. They are least permeable. Right. So, one common question that comes in your examination. It is the order of permeability from low to high. Yes. Who is highly permeable? All your gases, O2, N2, they are highly permeable. Right. Followed by them, your water and ethanol. So, they are relatively less permeable. See, this is a decreasing order. That is less permeable. And then comes your urea and glycerol. And then comes your tryptophan. Remember, your amino acids, they are going to be your charged they can be your uncharged and then no, it can vary depending upon their structures. Right. So, I uh, know your tryptophan, it comes here. Right. And then your glucose. After that, all of your ions, they come into play a role. Your nucleic acids, amino acids, they are all charged molecules. If they are charged, the permeability is going to be very, very less. Alright, you just remember these two facts, then all the questions are going to become very easy to you. Alright, so ions, it is including your sodium, potassium, chloride. Chloride is still better permeability when compared with your sodium and potassium. So that is what you can make it out from the slide. Right, yes. So let us take a couple of questions and check our knowledge. Right, so out of the list that is given below, which is in the order of increasing lipid permeability. So, who will have the maximum permeability? Yes, which is the maximum? Yeah, so it is going to be your gas. Which gas is given? Nitrogen is given. So, it should be your first one with nitrogen to be the maximum, followed by ethanol, then water, 
then glucose then ion and finally your nucleic acid is very less permeable got it so now it is very clear how the order is being spelt out gas it is highly hydrophobic right fine and if you take your nucleic acids they are highly hydrophilic they are charged right it is negatively charged right so no they make it very difficult to pass through but all those things no they can easily form what is calcium it is going to be an ion glucose then water then ethanol no they are all there right you can correlate it here ha huh? your air or your all your gases your ethanol and then glycerol glucose and then only your ion comes got it so isn't it very simple for you to understand now all right very good right so the permeability it is going to be your nitrogen why nitrogen is first it is a gas right it is highly non polar furthermore it is very very small right next comes your ethanol ethanol is slightly polar but better huh? right but if you take water it is highly polar if it is polar then it cannot pass through your membrane easily see your glucose size wise also it has become large till this it is small small and small but your glucose is very large it cannot pass through and moreover it is highly polar oh is there right and then ions ions they are highly charged two plus positively charged rna it is very large and charged so it cannot pass through so this is the order you know if if there are two molecules small and large your large cannot pass through if it is going to be polar and non polar your polar cannot pass through only non polar is able to pass through i think that now this is all clear to you all right so let us take one more question the correct decreasing order of permeability through a lipid layer you know especially which is containing your ions isoleucine tyrosine oxygen and na plus is so now which is your decreasing order of permeability right so the permeability it should decrease so which is going to be your correct answer which is least ha huh? so always the least permeable one it is going to be your ions and most it is going to be your gas so which option least should be your ions and most should be your gas so if you take the most to be the gas this c and d is gone right now within these two which is going to be correct obviously your b is going to be correct right yeah so your answer b is going to be the correct answer for this question got it yes all right good good fine one more question the order of predicted rate of diffusion across the bilayer right so which is which is uh, no going to be the correct order of your prediction all right so if you take your benzene your toluene they are all non polar if they are non polar they can cross through very easily so by that only these two options are gone right and then you have your phenylalanine and galactose so what is the charge of your phenylalanine and galactose if you take the galactose it is going to be polar right so if it is going to be polar and charged right so that will elude to the lowest right phenylalanine is not having that much so your answer d is going to be the correct one got it fine so that is the reason why this is not coming so you have to remember you know the charge of all of your uh, you know amino acid and you know this is not much charged right but your galactose is charged and you know your ions it is name itself indicating your cl minus so it is charged got it so the correct answer is going to be your option d so always remember that your unpolar or your non polar or your hydrophobic it is going to have your maximum permeability right and then if it is going to be your polar elements it is going to have a very very least permeability so this thing you remember all these questions are going to be very very simple and easy to you
all right everyone so you can definitely think of joining our plus courses at an academy i do teach at an academy for in live i uh, know and the total course content you can access through our an academy courses you can download this an academy app and then you can you uh, know get subscription for our uh, this wonderful courses you can use my code saranya live to get a 10% off on your total fees all right all the very best i will catch you up in another interesting session bye bye take care